Howdy everyone, Bill Miller here. Some of you may know me as Allegro1225 from the Minecraft Ed Chat on Twitter and or my gaming channel on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to create a note block song using Minecraft Noteblock Studio. Because this is a fairly hefty topic with a ton of info I do well to cover and that you probably don't have an hour to spare as I lecture on the various aspects of this program. This is going to be the first installment of a few tutorial videos on the subject. Minecraft Noteblock Studio is a free program developed by David Andre for the purpose of easily making noteblock arrangements without the need for extensive knowledge of redstone. You are, however, expected to have a basic understanding of various musical concepts, such as time signature, tempos, rhythms, etc., which will prove crucial to your ability to use this program. Please note that as of this point, Minecraft Noteblock Studio is only designed for computers running Windows. It is not, I repeat, not compatible with Macs or Linux machines. You may get away with installing it on a virtual machine running Windows, but any success on this front is likely to be hit or miss. Obviously, we need to first download the program and install it on our computer if we are going to use it. Now, as you can probably see, I already have Minecraft Noteblock Studio installed. To begin, simply open a web browser of your choosing and go to www.stuffbydavid.com slash mcnbs. And you can see the address was already typed in because Chrome is smart that way, uh, because I visited the site multiple times. Once you've entered the URL, press enter. I will also put the link in the video description for your convenience. You will want to download the latest iteration of the program, which at the time of this recording is version 3.3.0. Now you will have two choices when it comes to downloading the installer. You can either select the .exe option, which I recommend, or the zip folder. Once downloaded, select the installer and follow any relevant prompts to complete the installation of Minecraft Noteblock Studio. I won't go through motions for that because the program is already installed on my computer, but it's fairly self-explanatory. Now that Minecraft Noteblock Studio is installed, double click on the program's desktop icon to open the program. Upon opening the application, you will be presented with a list of different options. Create a new song, which we will look at momentarily. Load a song, fairly self-explanatory there. Generate a song out of a sound file. This is something we will look at more in depth in another tutorial video. And then finally, watch tutorial videos. Select create a new song, at which point you'll be presented with a blank file, if you will. In the top left corner, note the options to create a new song, open a song, and save a song. And moving even further to the right, you'll notice the play button, stop button, the rewind and fast forward button, and the record key presses button. We will not spend much time on the record button in this tutorial series. As you continue to move even further to the right, you'll see the different instrument types available to you in Minecraft, various edi editing tools, which we will look into later, options to adjust the song info, and MIDI settings. If you look to the top right corner, you will find a word accompanied by a Minecraft block that will, depending on the nature of your song, read compatible or not compatible. I will go into this in more depth in a later tutorial video. Below that top bar on the left hand side is the time code, and immediately next to it, an option to adjust tempo, measured in ticks per second. Below that, on the left hand side, you'll see a list of different layers, similar to what you'd find in a program like Pro Tools, or if you're looking for a visual uh, art equivalent, uh, Photoshop. At the very bottom, you will find a keyboard. All notes that are not supported by Minecraft, or in other words, notes that are outside the two octaves, are red. You can still input these outlier notes and place them in your music, but you will be unable to keep them in the schematic once you go to export your song. 
This concludes the first part of this tutorial. In the next video, we will discuss utilizing the various assets listed in this video to make Minecraft note block arrangements. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, this is Bill Miller signing off. Play on.